everyone. Welcome back to me being K-pop's one and only child protector. What is going on? Oh my god, what is going on? We all have all of this energy to be outraged for approximately a month after a 13-year-old debuts and then boom, a month later, you're now all calling them mommies and daddies. Not people saying the girl born in 2002 is their mother. I'm born in 2002. And if someone classified me as mother age, that would be my 13th reason. Okay, but seriously, we all know why debuting minors is problematic and we've heard about underage idols being sexualized and body shamed, all of the pressures of the industry, trauma, trauma, trauma. And while I will briefly touch on these subjects again, I'll mostly be talking about another very, very important issue that is maybe the most problematic. It's definitely up there, and I haven't seen anyone discuss it. And because I'm not annoying, we're gonna start off with this big reason no one talks about. Now, you probably saw the huge uneducated in my thumbnail. Yeah, I'm not lying. If idols are debuting at 13 and 14, you would assume that they started training a few years prior, so 10 and 11. And as everyone in the K-pop industry makes it clear, training is vigorous. It is basically a full-time job plus overtime for these 10-year-olds. And whether they disclose it or not, you can assume that none of them are really going to school. But hey, they probably have tutors at the company. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not trusting anyone that JYP hires to teach me anything. But seriously, I do understand that tutors are made part of their schedules, but it is in no way a priority. They have, what, maybe an hour or two, four at the most, for quote, school, which I bet you is not going to be anywhere near as extensive as actual school really needs to be. There are a few idols that debuted young and did get an education, and that's great, but I can't really imagine it being easy for them. And for the amount of schoolgirl and schoolboy costumes that K-pop makes these idols wear, you would think they prioritize actual education, but no. And now these idols keep getting younger and they're jetting off every week, vlogging their days, practicing and TikToking every day, going to fashion week, and I don't see that signature yellow school uniform, or any uniform, unless it's to perform a sexy concept. Huge yikes. But hey, you go to school to get a job and they already have a job. Yeah, they do have a job. For now. And no, that's not a threat, it's a reality. For most groups, unless they debut under huge companies or manage to attain huge success like BTS, after disbanding, they're going to fade into obscurity like so many other idols, groups, and trainees. And they're going to be forced to get regular jobs without education. And it's heartbreaking. And it's true that education really has no age and you can continue studying and continue college at any age. The truth, however, is that many, many trainees use up all of their money to get into these expensive trainee programs or to support themselves and their families while their rat ass companies don't pay them shit. <clears throat> anyway, they head back to the world with no money to support them, no education to guide them, and no power to help them. But apparently, we can't wait until they are at least 18. Well, yes, college can help you get more opportunities and jobs may be easier to get. It is not necessary, but education up until high school is a basic right. You need that. It's not a huge shocker that these companies want these idols to remain uneducated in almost every aspect so they can continue controlling them and scamming them and bypassing their rights, making them blindly sign contracts they don't even understand. What a great factory to bring in money. So, while it's sad to remember, the next time you see your favorite idol, just know that you may actually be more educated than them. Yes, even if you are just 13 and they're 27. All I know is if I'm ever in a fan call with these young idols, I'm pulling out the periodic table and getting to work. And yeah, we all talk about the other messed up stuff too, but we really need to start discussing how this industry is robbing children of their childhood and education and then dropping them on their ass when they're too old to be profitable without any guidance or instructions. It's happened a lot, but you don't hear about it because they don't let you hear about it. Now, let's talk about the other scary aspects. For a second, put yourself in the shoes of a 13-year-old. Unless you are 13, then just put your own shoes on. But not indoors. Just, just forget the shoes. Okay, now let's get into that mindset. Imagine waking up 
before the roosters, when you fell asleep maybe an hour ago. You want a really strong big breakfast to get your energy going. You're a growing child after all. Yeah, no, here's a diet shake and half a sweet potato. Bon appetit. Aw, oh, now you want your mom? Well, tough luck, you're only allowed to call on the weekends. Anyway, now you're at work, where a 40-year-old man with a beer belly is going to yell at you and call you overweight for being a pound over the limit. And a lady is going to yell at you for not wanting to wear cornrows. But you're not allowed to say anything because if you do, you're gonna have an attitude scandal. Are you still sleepy? Well, suck it up. Time to record the same performance 17 times until it is literal perfection. But don't drop that smile. You don't want a lazy scandal. Uh-oh, you forgot to bow to someone you didn't see. Well, now you're gonna be flooded with hate comments for a month, maybe even a year. Anyway, the day is finally over and you've scored yourself a bland chicken breast. Yay! Now you can go to bed and get ready to do it all over again tomorrow. <sighs> Does that honestly sound like a life a 13-year-old should live? Honestly, no one should live like this, but children? No! I hope you understand what I mean and I know that these idols are talented and I don't mean to say that we need to understand or belittle these groups, but they are still going to be talented five years from now, but they'll also be more mentally stable and able to understand their actions and thoughts better, not to mention they're gonna have an education. So really the question is, could we possibly wait five years or do you just want to go ahead and rob that child of their childhood? And with that, I kind of want to leave the rest of this discussion to you. I'm sure a lot of you agree with me, but I do want to hear how we could possibly begin to elicit change without the fear of attacking innocent young children. Because with boycotting or flooding comments, there is always a risk of inadvertent bullying, which I do not want to subject onto anyone, much less minors. So I'm all ears and I'd love to hear from all of you. For once, I don't have all the answers. Who would have thought? Apart from that, I hope you found this video to be informational, enjoyable question mark. I definitely tried to deliver it in a different way to hopefully find a way to explain this without being redundant or skippable. So you can go ahead and commend me for my efforts by subscribing to my channel. We recently hit 40,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy and still feels unreal even saying it out loud. So to everyone who has been supporting me so far, or even if you began today, I just want to say thank you for being my escape and thank you for letting me be a little fangirl online and gush about my favorite groups and talk about issues that really matter to me. And thank you for being there and listening because otherwise I would be spending a lot of time talking to myself which would get concerning really quickly. So thank you so much and I will see you soon. I have so many new video ideas that I'm excited for and I hope you all stay warm unless you're in Australia. If so, get those thongs on and bye. I need to learn how to not be awkward during the outro.